Dear all, welcome to this new tutorial on Adobe After Effects, the ultimate solution to create and enhance your own videos with outstanding post-processing, visual and audio effects, and great vectorization. This is part of the Adobe Creative Cloud bundle under a subscription plan for both Windows and Mac OS. There are really loads of things you can do with After Effects. In this beginner tutorial, we will cover the very basics you need to know to start using this product for the first time. As you open After Effects, its home screen page shows up. You can go to Open Project to search for an existing AE project you have, or start from a new one with New Project. This gets opened on the main interface with the timeline at the bottom which is the place where you will work and build your video, and several panels around it. In case you miss any panel, make sure to reopen it from the Window tab. In the top left corner, you get the toolbar with several tools you can use. You can also click on the Home button to come back to the previous home screen page. To start working on this project, you have to create a new composition first such as the single piece of video you realize in After Effects. To do so, go to Composition, New Composition, and set its name and its properties at the bottom. Pick any ready preset including HD, 4K, 8K resolution, and social media templates. And customize video size, aspect ratio, pixel aspect ratio, frame rate, and composition duration. As you go to OK, the new composition appears on the timeline at the bottom, completely empty. At this point, drag and drop videos, images, and audio files inside the composition. These are listed with their metadata under the project panel on the left. Among the new composition just created, you can right-click on it and go to Composition Settings to adjust its properties again. The timeline shows the imported files within rows called layers with limited duration in case of video and sound files. On the left, you get the file name and the properties for each single layer. The composition window above shows the project in progress where the blue marker is placed. Click once on the timeline to check a specific frame or drag to check frames sequentially. Whereas the playback in real time use the spacebar key. The first playback may result slower and blurry until After Effects finishes the pre-rendering on such timeline content indicated by a green line above. This makes your preview smoother, but also loads your RAM memory. So make sure to set the correct level of details with playback resolution. Pay attention that this pre-rendering gets reset every time you edit the timeline content. When working on the timeline, use your mouse wheel while holding down the Alt or the Option key to zoom in and out, and hold down the Shift key to scroll in time. Now let's see how to edit clips with the selection tool enabled. Click on any block or clip to select it and drag it to move it in time. In case visual clips overlap in time, you can change the layer's order by dragging one up or down. The layer placed on top is always shown in front of all the other layers lower in position. To trim any clip, just drag from its edges as you need. This cuts content on videos and sound files. If you do not want to remove content, you can adjust the duration by changing the speed rate. In this case, right-click on the clip, go to Time, Time Stretch, and set the stretch factor more than 100% to stretch the clip by making it slower, and less than 100% to make it shorter and faster. Select any clip and use Control or Command and X, C, and V to cut, copy, and paste it. The pasted clip will be added as a new layer whereas cut any clip to remove it quickly. Always use Control or Command and Z to undo if you make any mistake. On the left side, you get several options to manage each layer. Click on the eye to hide or show the visual content of any layer and the speaker button to mute or unmute it. 
enable the solo button to show just the current layer content, and the lock button to block any possible modification on it. Click on the right arrow to show the complete layer properties, depending on the kind of media file. Click and drag to smoothly change its values, or click it once and type in to set a specific value, applying with the Enter key. Make sure to click on Reset to come back to the default values. On audio clips, you can adjust the audio volume or level and take a closer look at its waveform. Whereas on images, you can open Transform to adjust horizontal and vertical position and size with scale. Breaking the link in case you want to deform the clip, for example to remove black bars caused by a bad aspect ratio. You can also add inclination with rotation and transparency with opacity. Video files show both audio and transform sections you can customize. You can also edit layers on the composition window directly. Select the interested layer and click and drag on it to move it and drag from its nodes to scale it. To add effects, animations, and transitions, you can open the Effects and Presets panel. To apply an effect, just drag and drop it on any clip. Adjusting its complete options from the Effect Controls panel on the left, or from the New Effects section, besides the standard layer properties. Click on the effects icon to turn off and on any effect and remove it by selecting it and using Control or Command and Dex. With the timer icon, you can also apply keyframes in order to change any effect property in time. Place the blue marker properly and click on the timer to fix the first keyframe, saving the current property value. Then move the blue marker in another frame and change the property to another value. This way, when you move from the first keyframe to the second one, the effect property changes in time from the first value to the second one saved. The time distance between the keyframes also sets the transition speed. After Effects now includes animation presets to make outstanding corrections and animations including color adjustments with colorize or clip motion with behaviors. Check these out. From transitions, you can add transitions to begin or end with any clip with an outstanding effect. You can apply the transition effect by dropping it to any clip. This is added under the effects section with its options and a 0% of completion by default. With the keyframes on this percentage, you can realize the transition by moving it from 0% to 100% and vice versa. With After Effects, you can also make vector drawings and annotations with the tools in the top left corner. Enable any shape tool and click and drag on the composition window to drop regular shapes whereas use any type tool to drop text by clicking and dragging on the preview and typing in. Come back to the selection tool to manage these objects independently within the composition window. You can also double click on any text to adjust its content inside. Vectors and pieces of text are added as independent layers with the possibility to correct stroke, fill color, and much more. You can also open the character panel to adjust text properties such as text font, style, size, and distribution. With the shape tools, you can also apply masks to crop visual content. If you drop any shape while having any layer selected, the shape won't be added as a vector layer, but as a mask within the current layer. Now let's see how to save and export your work. To save the project, go to File, Save As. Your project is saved with all of its compositions, effects, and properties inside as a .aep file format. 
whereas to render the current composition into a video, select it and open the Render Queue panel from the Composition tab. Click on Render Settings to set the video properties such as quality, resolution, and frame rate. On Output Module, select the file format, including H.264.4.NP4 and the audio options at the bottom. Unless you check the resize option, the video will have the same size selected for the composition. On Output 2, set video name and where to save it. This moves the composition into queued status, so that you can click on Render to export it. By default, the composition is entirely rendered from the first clip to the last one in time. If you want to render only part of the composition, just include it within the gray region above called work area before you export. Thank you very much for watching this tutorial.